Hello and welcome back to the Coder Legacy channel. In this video, we're going to explore how to integrate matplotlib and takeinter. Basically, matplotlib is a graphing library and takeinter is a GUI library. So if you're building some kind of application which makes heavy use of graphs, like a financial reporting application or something similar, then you'll want to, you know, basically integrate these two because matplotlib has many powerful and interactive features that you can use with graphs and takeinter obviously will provide the surrounding GUI. Okay, so how exactly can we make this happen? Well, luckily there's not much we need to do. And that's because matplotlib has this special backend called figure canvas TKGG, which can basically be used to integrate takeinter and matplotlib. All right, so what we'll do first is basically create the canvas. This is basically a canvas, a canvas that's simultaneously can plot matplotlib graphs and can also be integrated into a take inter application. We're going to create our canvas object. Okay. And now we need two things to create this. We need a matplotlib figure and a take inter application. We'll create the matplotlib figure first over here. Fig access is equal to plt dot subplots. Okay. Now we take our figure object and put it over here. And master is equal to root and this basically gives us our canvas okay now it's created and just like we do in taking care we need to actually integrate this into our application we need to pack it in somehow all right so we're going to do canvas.pack at least that's what you might do but that's actually not going to work because what you need to do is get take inter, oh sorry get tk widget and i think there's an underscore there okay so now let's run this and here is our window okay there's the canvas and the label is down there it's not supposed to be uh, that's because i'm supposed to add this inside the frame and here we go all right cool so here's our label and this is our canvas now what we're going to do is plot something onto this now the first thing that we need to do is create something like a button okay I mean, we could just plot it directly, but I want to do this properly. So we'll put this in our frame, then call this plot graph, and then link this to a function called plot, and then pack this in with a vertical padding of 10. Now I'm gonna define this function plot. Now what I want to do is axis.plot, okay, the axis object over here then I'm gonna generate some random data, x data and y data, np.random.randint, then zero to 10, generate 10 values. Okay, we'll do the same thing for the y axis and we'll do dot scatter. Okay, and generate this x and y data. Now, normally in matplotlib, you would stop here. Once you do this, you will do plt.show and that's it, right? But over here, actually, we don't do that. What you're gonna do here is canvas.draw. This is something that you need to do in order for the changes to update. And every time you want to update the graph, then you need to call this function, okay? Because just basically assume that. If you, wanna sh if you want something to show, you need to call draw. So if I run this code now, here we go. Now, if I click on plot graph, there we go. You can see that everything updated, the axis updated, X and Y axis, the graph is now updated. All right, that looks pretty good now. And now what? Well, we got the basics down. And if I run this code again, if I keep clicking that button, I think it's gonna keep randomly generating data. Yep. Oh, it's not clearing it. Okay, so the old data is still there. We're drawing over it, but we're not removing the old data. So to do this, we're gonna call the clear function. So every time we click the button now, it's gonna clear it. And for those of you who don't know matplotlib, we'll discuss some basics over here maybe like this so that you have an idea on how to use this new code. Okay. Pretty cool, right? Now, what else is there that we can take a look at? Well, um, if you want to plot a line graph, you can do it like this, okay? 
dot plot and this will draw a line graph like that obviously it's kind of screwed up because the data is, is random but that's how it's done there is one more thing that i should mention is that matplotlib has a navigation bar that appears with it as well and as you can see right now it's not there in our take integer window so to add it we, we need to make this extra import okay and then we're gonna go and uh, create this down here like uh, toolbar is equal to navigation toolbar tk then the first parameter is our canvas object then the second one is the parent i think okay then there's a option that i usually use pack toolbar i'm gonna disable that then toolbar dot update to update the changes and then i think i need to pack this in all right so if i run this code now here's our new graph okay with the toolbar down there and there's a slight issue over here the toolbar is there but uh, i don't like how it moves whenever we you know move around over here because it shows the x and y coordinates but i don't want this to happen i don't want it to be moving around so what i'll do is anchor this to the left with anchor is equal to west east okay it, it works like that so west will correspond to left and then over here i'm going to do fill is equal to tk dot x this will allow it to expand and take up the whole x-axis all right and now you see it's centered over there properly and now this because it's, it's now taking up the whole x area so it's appearing properly where it should be the coordinates okay the cool right so yeah now let me just show you how to use this toolbar a little bit you see this button here take it uh, click on it and then you can use it to drag around on your graph okay then you can use home to reset the view then you can also use zoom as well and then you can also save your graph and if you make multiple changes like this you can also you know undo those changes uh, there's one more thing i think that, that i should have mentioned you see something weird about the taking care window like the button here looks extremely small right that's not normal that's because including matplotlib by creating this function and creating the matplotlib figure this actually messes up the styling a bit what you want to do instead is then you can import matplotlib.figure and instead of creating the figure in axis like this create the figure using matplotlib.figure dot figure or we, we could have just imported this from there but whatever then do access is equal to fig dot add subplot and now when we run our code it's going to be back to normal basically i don't know why but including you know using plt dot subplots kind of made everything a bit smaller this is what it would look more normally like okay so if you face any issues and you want to revert back to what take inter normally looks like then just do what i told you okay so yeah this is the end of this video i'm gonna end it right here if you want to see more stuff about matplotlib and take inter let me know in the comment section below and then i'll see if we can make something interesting about that right